first step guys I already cut this one and we'll be cutting this here this here and then we'll glue it together again this is just so we'll have um, a narrower profile We'll um, trim this more. All right, and we have glued it together. Then I added the weights underneath. I already did a test fit, dry fit, and it would still work even with the battery underneath. Alright, so this is now narrower compared to stop. Okay, so we'll uh, see how it performs. We'll do another test run.
Thank you so much. Alright guys, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, so uh this is the best upgrade I have so far for the uh Kyosho HOR. Again, uh this is the best upgrade as a as a noob, as a newbie, okay? Because for experts out there like those guys uh in Hong Kong or, or Japan or Taiwan they uh, don't use any crash bars anymore they are they're not that good but if you're um, just starting out like me um, or still trying to work on your skills then this is the best upgrade I I advise you guys and best upgrade I had so far um so um like what i've said i did some modifications right i got at this one not only that i also had to cut the lower cowl in half like so and then i think i took out about two to three millimeters at the bottom and then glued the lower cowl together again to give me that sharper profile for the lower cowl which basically would give us more clearance more ground clearance at full or maximum lean which which helped me a lot aside from the rollers so it it really um it really worked all right, and as you can notice, <clears throat> aside from the mods I did with the fairings, I also had the, the chance to 
make a very cheap but effective protection. Um, these plastics here, uh, you may have noticed this one, full of scratches already. This is just from a soft drinks bottle. But that protected the front fairings. So all these scratches are just in the plastic bottle. So the fairings itself is unscratched. It's very easy. Just cut it out. Maybe a little um, heat gun to shape it, to follow the shape. And basically that's it. Same thing with the side or upper and lower fairings. There's this plastic here. Um, I installed this basically after trying out the tuning of my Kyosho. So you can notice that there are scratches here. Because I didn't have this before, the, the uh, protection here. But now I have this. So by the time I repainted this, I repaint this then it won't have any scratches in the actual failing itself but just on these um, protection same thing here till at the rear there are scratches already so just imagine if not for the plastic bottle protection then all the scratches will be in the fairings just like at the bottom here so this i will basically just um, remove this old sticker put it uh, put in another sticker Pepsi still and uh, it would look uh, brand new I have um, soft copies of other libraries um, which my uh, my good friend uh, Jeffrey sent me so those I will be putting on a new set of fairings that I will be ordering soon but for now um, this current setup that I have uh, is is good enough for me and then next upgrade I'm, I'm thinking of buying a new servo better servo than what I'm using then maybe um, motor upgrade ESC upgrade but we'll see right now I'll just be running this as is this is already perfect for now all right so there more uh, more mods more upgrades to come on, on this one Thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure you guys uh, do subscribe and hit the like button. And also, please do share my video to help out those guys who are just getting into this hobby. RC motorcycle, something you should really get into, especially this Kyosho HOR. With the leaning rider, this is the most uh, scale RC motorcycle I saw or available right now. The only one with the moving leaning rider on a one-eighth scale. Alright, thank you so much for tuning in guys.